It was the biggest stage ever for the Western Michigan football program. A Cotton Bowl matchup with Big Ten powerhouse Wisconsin under the bright lights of Jerry's World. Let's check out the action from today's Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic. To AT&T Stadium we go. Opening drive, Badgers march right down. Corey Clement walks through a gaping hole to put Wisconsin on the board first. They continue the assault late in the first. DeRay Agumbawale punches in from a yard out. And it was 14-0 Badgers, so the Broncos facing some adversity. But senior leader Zach Terrell put WMU on the scoreboard in the second quarter. Beautiful play fake, two-yard touchdown scamper. That cut the game to a one-score affair. Then in the fourth, 17-10 Wisconsin, Broncos in their own territory. Terrell, the interception into quadruple coverage, the only turnover of the game. That led to this, Alex Hornibrook. To the back of the end zone, Troy Fumagalli goes up and gets it. He had six big catches on the afternoon for the Badgers, and that one made it 24 to 10. The Broncos would respond, however, with almost a nine-minute drive. And on fourth down of that drive, Terrell chased out of the pocket, throws up a prayer. Corey Davis on the receiving end to answer it. That was the will and fight Western Michigan has exhibited all season and all game long, but it was not enough. They come up just short. Wisconsin running out the clock after recovering an onside kick. 24 to 16, the final in the Cotton Bowl. And our very own Larry Figurski was at the game and has more from the only loss of the season for Western Michigan. Larry. Yeah, any season you finish with a loss is disappointing, Zach, but especially as you mentioned, when it's your only loss of the season. But I'll tell you, these players left this field to the cheers and the ovation of a winning ball club because their fans really appreciated not only what they've given them all season, but the effort they made here. Especially when you were in this building, boy, I'll tell you, after that first quarter, and you saw it obviously on TV, the, fo TV, the folks at home, they were kind of run over here in the first quarter. It looked like this game could get out of control, but they responded. Excellent defensive effort. If it's not for the turnover, Wisconsin really has a hard time moving the ball. Ball, the final three quarters. I think we have some video we can show you also. P.J. Fleck making his way off the field. He was pretty emotional. I mean, these guys are all kind of spent. Boy, they put a lot of time into this. Really believe they could win this game. And unfortunately for them, came up just a bit short. But uh, here's Robert Spillane, one of the leaders in the locker room just after the game today. We knew that that slow start really hurt us, but uh, we came in at halftime and really decided that we wanted to go for this thing. And uh, we knew if we stopped them on defense and moved the ball on offense, we'd have a chance. We just didn't have enough time on the clock left for us. That slow start was definitely something that we wanted to avoid, but um, we all know what happened. But um, so once we came in, once the offensive line really started to get into the groove, once everybody started to get into the groove, we just know that, hey, like, we belong here. Can you just give us an idea of what PJ said to you guys afterwards? He was proud of us. I mean, I it's hard to be proud and lost, but uh, we had chances, like he said. But um, like, he, like again, they get, they get all the credit in the world. They played their hearts out today, Wisconsin. And that gentleman, John Kenoy, the starting center out of East Kentwood, will be back next year, as will Asante Brown from Muskegon. We heard from him earlier at 5. We'll give you some more of his postgame reaction coming up, a little extended version at 7 tonight. But for now, live in Arlington, Texas, Larry Figurski, 24-hour news aide. Zach? Thank you, Larry. Definitely a bright future for the Broncos.